In this video, we'll take a look at whether potassium hydroxide, that's KOH, is soluble or insoluble in water. And there's a few ways we can do that. First, we can have memorized the solubility rules. These are some of the basic rules for solubility. If we look down, we see that group one elements, potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table. Those elements, when they form compounds, these are gonna be soluble compounds. So just looking at the solubility rules, and knowing this first rule, we can tell that KOH should be soluble in water. We could also take and look at the solubility chart. So here's a solubility chart. And we go down, these are the positive ions, the cations, and potassium is right here. And then for the negative ions, the anions, we go across, there's the hydroxide ion, that OH minus. So we can go down and across, and you see that S. That means that potassium hydroxide, that's gonna be soluble in water. When you put this in water, it'll dissolve, it'll dissociate into these potassium ions, K plus, and then the hydroxide ions, OH minus. And those will be aqueous because they're dissolved in water. Also note that many of the hydroxides here have this I, they're insoluble. But potassium, that's in group one, it's going to be soluble. There's one more way that we can figure out whether potassium hydroxide is soluble or insoluble in water. We can just take some potassium hydroxide, put it in water, and see what happens. Based on the solubility rules, based on our chart here, we would expect that it would be soluble, that it would dissolve, dissociate into its ions, and be aqueous solution of these ions here. This is Dr. B answering the question whether KOH is soluble or insoluble in water. It is soluble. Thanks for watching.